Hey everyone, welcome back to Sudotalk. Today I'm going to be quickly showing you how to install Debian onto a computer with a bootable USB stick. Go ahead to the Debian website, which is debian.org, and you can click the Getting Debian section, and it'll take you to a page where you can choose your distributions. You can choose either the small CDs or the tiny CDs option. I'm going to go with the small CDs, as the tiny CDs just cut down on the packages that are pre-installed, and it'll take a little bit more time to download them if you want them in the future. The small CDs option is still fairly small, and I think it's just the best option in general. Pick the one for your architecture, which in most cases is going to be the AMD64, but if you've got an ARM architecture like a Raspberry Pi, you should choose one of those. And if you've got a very old Mac, then of course you're going to want the PowerPC option. While that's downloading, go to the link that I have in the video description to download Rufus. This is what we're going to be using to install the ISO onto the USB drive. It's super handy and it formats it and takes care of everything we need to do all at once. Once those two files are done downloading, file up Rufus, insert your USB drive, and the default option should be just fine for installing it. Go ahead and click the disk icon to select your newly downloaded Debian image, and then click Start to burn it onto the drive. Keep in mind that this will format and erase all of the data on the drive, so if you've got important things on there, make sure to back them up. If you'd like more details on this process, I have a video just about making the install CD for any generic operating system. You can find that in the card up in the corner or on my channel. When it's done, you can click the close button, eject the USB drive, and then plug it into the computer that you're going to be installing Debian on. As you boot up, hit the key to get to the boot menu, which in my case was F12, and select the USB device to install Debian. Click the install option, and we're just going to do the regular install instead of the graphical install. Once it loads up, you're going to want to select the English language, the correct keyboard type, and then it'll start the pre-installation process. It's basically a matter of entering the proper information, then clicking continue, although I will take you through some of the parts. You can go through and set your password, set your user, which is all fairly simple, and then it'll get to the partitioning disk section, which can be a little bit more complicated. I'm going to recommend that you do all the files on one partition, especially if you're starting out, but of course you can do them to separate partitions. Select the disk that you would like you to use to install Debian, and keep in mind that when you continue, it will erase all the information on this disk. It is possible to install it to a separate partition on the same disk as another operating system, but this can be kind of finicky, so if you're just starting out, I would recommend installing it on a fresh disk that you don't have any data on. After that, it'll begin installing the base system and install the rest of the system. This took me about 10 to 20 minutes, but it really depends on your computer for this part. When it's finished, it'll ask you to reboot, so go ahead and do that. As it's booting up, unplug the USB drive so that it can boot straight from the hard drive. Just like that, you should be greeted by the login screen, so enter the password that you set during the installation process, and you should see your new Debian desktop. Now you can do all things Linux, and if you're wondering what to do with Linux, then definitely check out my channel because I've got a ton of projects and tutorials on how to do things with Linux. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.